Okay. Uh, let's just not bull again. Well, there there are other games that start at super fast and just drop down. So I'm definitely not uh, saying that uh, the games need to start uh, like fast and uh, they just need to start with the big bang. Like the one that really is on my mind is Fallout 4. That starts out fast. You just like BAM! The bombs drop, you're in the bunker, you're out, your wife is dead, your, your son is missing. That piece of crap, I hate him. Uh, just just the, the random comment I had to add. Then you meet, meet the, the, the Minuteman and Preston Garvey, that guy, you're gonna hate him. And uh, you fight a Death Claw, that's awesome. So that, that's, a, that's a strong start. To the adventure and then you get to the phase like okay now i'm i'm gonna go into the world where other games are just like yeah i'm just a peasant i'm just kind of figuring it out uh kind of you have the same experience a little bit in pathfinder kingmaker you start well as an unimpressive adventurer and it's a really fun game I suppose, in a way, it can be somewhat compared to Kingdom Come Deliverance, that it's like, it's a little bit unpolished, but it's a really good game. I kind of like games that start like that. It was very similar to the start of Dragon Age Origins. Do a bunch of chores, then boom! Helps build immersion, in my opinion. I agree with you. Uh, that it can be good. But also, you don't know if the game is going to be good. but Because... I'm not sure what, what point I'm trying to make here. Like, some games just stay boring. I suppose. Like, I played games like that. And I'm not suggesting that it's some necessarily boring to get, like, get started, but, like, there's gotta be something more. Because, like, Life of the Peasant kind of gets boring eventually. Well, the, the other game I thought about, what was what was the game? A Dungeon Siege? That was like a long time ago. You basically... How does the game even start? You basically are just a peasant, some bandits attack you, I don't even remember. But that's kind of what I remember. You're just a peasant, like people attack you and just say, fuck it. You leave your farm and uh, you just start killing people. And you just like group up with a bunch of people, you just go and go and go and kill people. That's it. I just like, this is the peasant life for me. Okay, I need to be careful here, because he has a lead. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna push here. Yeah, double shoop, still works, just confirmed. That's awesome. Gotta go work, have fun. Uh, thanks. Have fun later with Gwent. Yeah, we're just gonna keep this. What is he doing? Oh yeah, boost all units in hand. Will he try to push me? Hmm. Choose a unit in your hand, then boost up by the whole number of units in your hand which have the same primary category as that unit. That seems pretty damn strong. So, it seems like this guy is gonna push me. Like, why would you start with the 10 power guy? Okay, I'm gonna play Avalok. At last. I built a Shoop Usurper deck to counter Krak and generally have fun before the meta gets solved. Which uh, faction would actually be uh, the best for Shoop? Because. From what I've seen, it seems like Scoia'tael is still the best for Shoop. But I not I might be wrong. But seems like the units are 
are good by themselves, but of course, monsters have I some good units by themselves. Perhaps it's uh, viable with all factions, but of course it's uh, a bit of a sacrifice. And I'm not even convinced that Shoop is worth it. Shoop is good, but you're kind of like paying an extra just for having options. I don't know yet, but I played a little monsters and you want decks that have uh, thinning. How do you have thinning? Because we have the... The Wild Hunt Rider as thinning, but most thinning is just stupidly expensive. And you don't wanna... If you use like an expensive thinning, then you're actually thinning out your golds. So... That's not great. Uh, I think we just have to. I'm gonna establish Imbralit, because yeah. this guy seems like he's gonna push me. Like, you don't put down 10 and 9 on the board if you sing the song of steel. plan to play nothing. <clears throat> but yeah, Elf deck seems pretty damn strong. Uh, I need some points on the board. Unfortunately... Okay. I have to hit the ten, uh, 10, because if the Elven Swordmaster hits the my 10, uh, then I'm gonna be pretty damn screwed. Shoop is bad now. He's not reliable, from what I can see. It's hard. I don't think Shoop will survive. You can't even team with bronzes playing Shoop. From what I've Let seen, this is one of the best deck tuner in the game, the Balsam Rider. Okay, it's down to a 6, uh, which is not great. I don't... I can do something. I can do something, and I probably have to do it. I can make Goliath immune. And it's damn annoying. I can also play Imbralet and make it immune. So we're never gonna lose this one, I believe. Hopefully we're not gonna lose this turn. NG's for sure, a terrible choice for Shoop, but I like the usurper. No mercy! Boost helps. Don't kill that. He's forcing uh, some strong options out of me. I would really like to slow down. We need to bloody slow down. Okay. Your bed! What? Randomly kill? I hate random. Randomly, Imbrat is dead. Okay, 12 points we have to do. You know how that would be easier to do if we actually had Imbrat in the back? Seems like we are screwed. I think I need to finish this off. That's only an 8. Uh, we have to play that. Ok, 
Come on, man. This is this is so bad. We're losing a card. He has a lot of points. He has extremely strong uh, plays by themselves. Yeah, that's obviously a good pass. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. So, we can't play that. That's too weak. We can't play that. We have to play the Frenzy Dao, by looks of it. But first of all, we hit. And we need to get... 6 points. But... This doesn't thrive. Actually, if we play Siri Dash... But I don't wanna... Oh my... That, Siri Dash is better than Frenzy Dao. It's gonna work, right? We can get 6 points with Siri Dash. Because of the Necker Warrior. But I think we just gotta send it Frenzy Dao. I've been looking at Nilfgaard though. Reveal looks really promising. Lots of synergy cards. I tried that and uh, I didn't like it. Extremely RNG. So even if it works, I don't know. You're just gonna lose a lot of games because you're just gonna lucky. And sometimes you're just gonna let, get lucky. But it's not very consistent. So we can start with this guy. Then we Siri Dash, obviously. I have pretty strong plays. And uh, are your thoughts on Squirtle? What are your thoughts on Squirtle now? I have not had a chance to play any yet. Now is the time of the sword and axe. Okay, boost a unit in your hand. A specific unit. <clears throat> Uh, Squirtle seems pretty strong. And the leaders seem to make a lot of sense as well. The units are strong. The bronze units are strong. I think the weak part of the Squirtle is the high-end card. When you look at the high-end cards, they're like... You're really not getting a lot. At least, uh, that's my impression. So you don't have like old spear to pin Squirtle. May your sword and arm be one. That's not gonna be an option. Okay, we're deleting that. Like one is for the traps. One is this. Like talking about the ones that are above ten. One is Italian Eggly, which is at the hand buff deck. He's using that. Uh, one is for the trap deck. Watch and and uh, one is an extremely situational. <laughs> uh, Shiro. And you need to boost as well to make that make sense. Bad. Six points. I'm too old for this shit. They sure love keeping that for last round. Hmm. Yeah, this is probably GG. He has something really boosted up in his hand. I wanted to try this leader, but I didn't get around to it yet. Because I really like the leaders that have a lot of mulligans. Mulligans are the way to have, have uh, consistency right now. Yeah. I don't think we win this. Can you show your deck? Maybe I have it on the clipboard. Yeah. Someone took that picture earlier. 
Uh, that's the best we have right now. Coexistence is no such thing. Damage the enemy for every ah. hour. It was, it was kind of close. And we got a little punished, round two, because he pu pushed me. He just has a lot of... Uh, he, he doesn't really... He doesn't generate value. He just has a lot of power uh, for every play. So, GG. <clears throat> Cop there! So, we're just gonna keep it on. Scrapta seems like a popular choice uh, right now. The Neckers are a little bit slow in round one. We might try to keep them for round two if we can. Actually, a lot of my cards are pretty damn slow. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. <laughs> we might just play the Neckers next turn. We probably have to give this one up. Let's go with the Mecha Warrior. <clears throat> the time of the white frost and white light is nigh. Okay. There's a plan B. Boost the unit. Actually, boosting the unit uh, could have synergy in itself. Yeah, we're definitely playing one more card. Ridiculous! If he had some way to to force round one, if he had a way to force round one, uh, then this would be insane. Like we could pull our trick every single time in a long round three, which would be win unless they have a very specific combo like a like a Nivel and Regis combo very well set up. Maybe with a great sword, but the point is we have a very strong round three, but uh, we somehow have ha has to get there, have to get there, and um, now we will see. It doesn't always speech. work. Okay. <clears throat> Just end turn. Necros are not the best. Aha. Rest in peace. When the white frost comes, do not eat. Boost is snow. hand boost is extremely powerful in a way that, like this, you can actually have power for later. Uh, and uh, that's a premium right now. No way you could fit in the Witchers. Need some temple place. There's zero chance I can fit in the Witchers. Those are way too expensive. Well, he does have some items, so I don't wanna play the Frenzy Dao here. I can play this for four. Hmm. 
me best. We can play Avalag, but I probably shouldn't. So this is a 5. It's not good enough. And probably is the Kiran X. Should we throw away Frenzy Dao? So this is an 8 point. I think Avala can really swing the game. I don't know what to throw away. Maybe we're gonna get another. Well, he might have a sword, and then I would feel very silly. Okay, I think we're gonna play Avala. Tough choice. You might have she heal. That's bad. Okay, we have two wep uh, weapon counters. I'm saying weapons. Because they're usually weapons. That's garbage. <coughs> so. We can start by copying Yan Khan. This will probably make him. He's looking two plays. Him uh, starting to play his weapons. Or maybe a, a pink. I, actually, he can't do a pink scorch. He can only do a scorch. So that would need to be just a straight up scorch right away. He probably has scorch. Unicorn can help me. Uh, just boost this to 12. That's an odd way to try to play around the Scorch, but that's all we have. I don't want to lose Yang Khan. Yang Khan is a win condition, we can lose this guy. Okay. I'm gonna play this in the back. And if he doesn't die instantly, uh, then we can boost it up. So, it's unlikely that it dies. I'm not sure what he would use to kill it instantly. Maybe he will, he will not think that he needs to do that. Perhaps he will play an item. Uh, keep in mind that he has 3 damage, so... Dance of death. Probably it's ha! gonna be easy. Ha! Oh, he fucked it up. Maybe he wants as a she heal follow up. He did not expect that. <clears throat> How does Gwent to compare to old Gwent? That's always a tough question for me because which version of it? Like close beta or or when like Gwent to after well Gwent in its uh stage when like it didn't get an update for like a year I think in its prime went was went was promising but yeah I definitely prefer the current version so we need to destroy that We miss old Gwent. New Gwent is so different. I think both were good games. Oh, look at that. He has a weapon back. Oh, we, we don't even have to kill it. Lol. Just spam artifact, guys. That's That's how it works. And this guy is officially out of the game. Death awaits us all. Yeah, maybe we should put something next to it. He got too greedy. 
He could have finished off Yank on, but he didn't. Damn Way too greedy. Now he's just trying to kill it desperately, but he already lost the game. Okay, he put enough uh, stuff on the board, so we can uh, put down Sabat as well. To me, it's hard to say yet. I like where AC is going, but before the meta settles, plus patches, and maybe a bit more content, it's very hard to really get a feel for it. As any new version will feel very shallow versus uh, worked out meta. Oh, we didn't play this at the time. Yield and save me some time. I probably should pay more attention. But yeah, this game's in the bag. Jeez. 